What's up guys, Blue Cliff Productions here and today I'll be playing Spike's Day Out, a sequel to Spike's Day Off. Made by the same guy, Sonic... I think it's Sonic something... I don't remember the name. I'm sorry. I'll have a link in the description if you want to know more about the uh, creator. But it, without any further ado, let's get started with this new... Next, what's it called? Game. You. I really got it from Twilight. Got what? Who who said that? I did. Hey, I remember you from Mad Hatton. Yeah, I'm Spike. What are you doing here, Coco Palum? Wait, Palmel? I'm here for the PonyCon subculture convention today. Thought you would have noticed what with all the ponies in cosplay. Uh, were you here for it too? Oh, no, I got lost. I didn't know there was a convention out here. Well, it's good that you're here. Could you help me out of this thing? What is this thing supposed to be like? I'm actually here to work at an event later in today. And I'm supplying these replica suits of armor for it. You made this? I thought you were just a costume designer. But then, yeah, it would, yeah, then this is a costume, so I mean, what are you getting at? A costume designer would make, oh wait, costume designers don't act, wait, do costume, they make the drawings and then I think they actually make it, or maybe they don't, I don't know. I work on commission. I even made some on the spot, fixes for a few ponies here. I can't help but feel responsible for all the co uh, costumes here. And this one was already falling apart. But then there's the rest of the armory back home I need to finish. Nothing a little foam and hot glue won't fix, right? Sounds like a busy schedule for you. Did uh, you need some help with that? Oh, I can't ask for your help. Besides, I'm sure your friends need you more than I do. No, they don't. They'll be fine without me. Is is something wrong? Actually, I need to get a gift for some pony. Now that you mention it, I might need some assistance with the event later. Employees for it get a free ticket to any what Bridal Way show. That's perfect. Twilight loves musicals. Where is it? It's inside the convenient wait, the convention center, up the stairs. But I think you'll need a badge to get in. Side. Sure, I can join you. Thanks. Here's a little something for you. You got a fancy looking hat. Use X to equip and C to take off. It's a hat for a Vike Neotene cosplay I was working on. Wearing it will make you look inconspicuous, and you'll be able to overhear other ponies' conversations. Sometimes eavesdropping on ponies can help you do things. It might even help you be more stealthy, too. I'll put it to good use. Oh, look at the time. I really need to get back to work. See you at the... What? Alicorn Princess Tea Party later. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, look at that. Spike is looking snazzy. The suit of armor is blocking the door. Oh, we got a Link cosplay. Deadpool, that's Harley Quinn. There should be a conversation, or oh, a convention, exclusively for waiting in line. I need a badge to get in, but I'm not about to wait in line all day. Hey, it's Trixie. Stomach growl. Dang, why does Trixie look miserable? Police telephone? Free? Public? Didn't know they still had these. Isn't that like maybe like the tortoise from like, or the tortoise from Doctor Who? Pretty sure the guy next to me stole my waffle cones. I mean, oh, I got a hot dog. Okay. Cardboard boxes are highest form of stealth. I could totally snatch that hot dog off the counter over there. I mean, we could, but we're not gonna. Pay no mind to the flashing lights under the truck. Huh? There's a little sign down here that says closed. Okay, well, let's... Oh, we can't continue? Hey, let's see. Can we eat this hot dog? 
Nope, I don't think we can eat it. I think it's a quest item. I think we gotta use it for something. And also, I love how it's different. Kinda. They have a new- they've added things. Oh, and when you walked, I didn't notice in the last one that your eye grew. But in this one, and your head got bigger too. But in this one, when you walk, your head stays the same size. So he's definitely gotten better. Grown. Trixie should really eat breakfast instead of just waiting for lunch. Um, Trixie? Grumble. Wow, she's just a grumbling pony right now. How may Trixie help you? Uh, convention go goer. Are you working here? Wait a minute. You're the dragon from back in Philadelphia. Well, you'll be glad to know Trixie is now living back in Canterlot. I can see that you've picked up day jobs since then. This is only temporary employment for the weekend. It's not like Twixie was strong-armed into being here. Uh-huh, sure. What, so you're saying you were forced? By the way, did you want something to eat? I could hear your stomach across the street. Food? For me? Yeah, here's a hot dog for ya. Trixie, you okay? You're hired. Wait, what? I'm sorry, this is my day off. I didn't... I didn't agree to working. Also, what? what is with Spike and working on his day off? That's kinda lame. What? I mean, we could use some extra claws at our staff here. We could even get you inside for free, too. It's not like Twixie is extremely grateful for your kindness. Oh, uh, thanks? The convention's sponsor is in that blue booth over there. You could get a badge from her. Alright, I'll check it out. Who turned out the lights? Spike. Y yes That's Spike. Don't you dare step out that door. Th this isn't funny. You have to tell me what's wrong. Did I do something to offend you? Yes. Am I talking to a floating amulet? What is this thing? Honestly, it doesn't... Is it an amulet? I think it is. I think I've seen it in the anime. <sighs> Spike, you might want to watch the entrance there. We're in a pocket dimension, so it may be temporary unstable. Are you alright? Um... Okay. It's actually quite quaint in here. Wait, Princess Celestia? It's a nice surprise to see you too. Why are you here? And please, we are both at a convention to indulge ourselves. There's no need to defer to me. That's some nice cosplay. Is that a cosplay or are you just wearing a disguise so no one recognizes you? Cause it's not working. Oh, you wouldn't believe how hard it was to put this all together. It has to be original, but not out of character. At first I had 12 outfits to choose from, but there was one problem. What was it? There are only three days for the convention, and I want to wear them all, for the sake of law implications. So I decided to mash up four outfits for each day. Genius, right? I mean, it's ludicrous, crazy, and also determined, and uh, honestly, kind of awesome. But yeah, kind of crazy too. Right. Thinking, not a good idea, princess. Doctor, excuse me? Are you the sponsor Trixie was talking about? Uh, yes. Were you joining our staff today? Yeah, I, uh, sent here, I was sent here to get my badge. Here you go, welcome to the team. You got a staff badge. Careful, no replacements. Now I can get inside the convention center. Before you go, here are the rules and regulations. Oh boy. Rule 1 was speak respect for all fandoms. Because everyone has a life outside the convention. Basic etiquette, okay. 2. Rule 2. Have fun. Because life outside of the convention won't allow it. Dang, that's deep. Reality check. Got it. Wow. Okay, she's basically like... Wow, stomach growl. Man, you didn't want to eat my hot dog, so I don't even know why you're giving me the stomach growl. Okay, let's let's uh, explore the... What's it called? This convention. That sleeping guy over there looks kind of thirsty. Oh, wait. It's because he's... Okay. 
the lifeblood of conventions. The water fountain. Okay, weird. Hey, it's hers! What was your name? Coco... Uh... Pummel? Pummel, yeah. Hey, Spike, you ready for the alicorn princess tea party? Well, I'm not an alicorn, and how are you gonna get in? You're not an alicorn either. Entry to the alicorn princess tea party is only granted to those in alicorn's cosplay. It should be only to Alu Nobody move, I lost a contact. Hey, it's Trixie. I hope Bulk downstairs isn't sleeping. Water will wake him up. Oh, hey! Wait, aren't you Daring Do? I'm da I think this is Daring Do. She looks definitely like Daring Do. Oh my gosh, you're AK Yearling. How'd you get in here? The signing isn't for another few hours. Oh, sorry. I'm pack. Wait, I'm part of the staff and was just checking in. Is that so? Okay, could you throw this out for me? You got an empty cup. It's full of endless possibilities. Oh, okay, that's convenient. I'll take this off your hooves. So you're here for the convention too? No, I'm here for that alicorn princess tea party later today. But your sponsor heard I was here. She made a panel for me. What's up with that tea party anyway? It seems like a big deal. Heh. <laughs> Well, you want a long or the short story, kid? You did say you got a few hours. Cheeky. I hate cheeky. Wow, okay, rude. You see this on the table? Uh, yes, that's the amulet that was talking to me earlier. That's the alicorn amulet. Got hired by the ponies running the tea party to find it. Turns out it doesn't like to stay in one place. Had to track down its former wearer. First, though, you mean Trixie? Not one to turn down and 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 job opportunity, that mayor. You'll probably see her around paying her debts. The employers wanted to see an authentic alicorn artifact. Doesn't this belong in a museum or something? My thoughts exactly, kid. Okay, can we explore? There's a cardboard box in this crate. Why? How can you tell what's in that crate? There's nothing... There's no indication that there's anything in that crate except for it being a crate. All right, here goes. Water! He woke up for water, okay. Give me that. Gulp. Yeah, I was totally not sleeping on the clock. Easy there, bro. Sorry, little dragon. It's hard to just stand and stare at ponies. I bet it is. Anyway, I gotta get... I gotta check out the exhibit hall. Go on ahead. Okay, thanks, dude. And also, this pony is buff. Like, he is super buff. Like, I don't know what. Wait, is that Derpy? Okay, that's weird. But there's Derpy. I can feel the company's eyes on me. Hey, it's Fluttershy! Wait, hold up. Shy guy? I'm sorry, what? What do you mean, shy guy? Shouldn't that be shy girl or shy gal? Oh, wait, there's a comic store? I don't know if this is considered canon. I mean... Wait, what the heck is this? Um, excuse me? Uh, do you wanna... you wanna say something about this? Oh, no, we're not... We're just gonna ignore the fact that you gotta... Got me there? Okay. Uh, anyway, let's talk to Fluttershy. Hey, Fluttershy. Stare. Fluttershy, look up. Oh, hi, Spike. I thought I would have to talk to strangers all day. Wow, did you make all these? Yeah, yes. But I haven't been able to sell anything yet. I wonder why. You literally weren't looking at your customers. Are they not too overpriced? They're not too overpriced. I don't think that's your problem here. Haven't you ever done this before? Oh no, this is actually my first time at the artist alley. See, maybe you should have someone else do it because you can't look at people apparently. Normally, I would be too scared to do this by myself. But I wanted to try this at least once. Well, you could practice on me. Try to sell me something. Oh, okay. Stare. 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 
Okay, what the- wait, what? Excuse- whoa, hold up. What? She lost her whole face. Are you okay? Fluttershy, D did someone hurt you? Dang, what the heck is this? Wah! I'm so sorry, I freeze up when I'm put on the spot. What? Was that your stare just now? I guess it was. Maybe that's why ponies just went away. Shiver. I feel like something took root in me. You got the stare. When you stare at the abyss, the abyss stares back. You'll see to break objects. I'll be more careful from now on. My stairs know to break uh my stairs known to break things. I've looked this way and when I walk away, it just goes up in smoke. You might want to get that checked. Could I ask you a favor, Fluttershy? Oh, of course. I'll be here all day. What is it? Um, could you make me an Alicorn Princess bodysuit? That's a weird request. Uh, for a friend. I'm working here today, and I need it for a friend. It, it's fine, Spike. I can make it, but I need a few materials. First, I need some kind of cone shape for the horn. Get some kind of cone. Got it. Okay, well, let's see what else there is. Words cannot describe how much jet lag I have now. I wonder how that train is getting power. Hey, dudes. I really need to talk to the manager about this power problem. Okay, well, you do that. The janitor over there looks like the clerk outside. I keep forgetting the manager's office is outside to the left. Wait, hold up. Maybe if I take this hat off. Hey, watch where you step. I just mopped. Yeah, this... These comics are totally not enchanted artifacts that suck you inside. Okay, well, uh, that's not comforting. I wonder if the owner can give me these wings. Yeah, I'm getting different dialogue. I wonder if there's any other special guests here today. Okay, well, no one else is saying anything new. Do you know a place where you can gala and slash or con? Okay, no. So what are we doing? Oh yeah, we need to get ice cream cones. And if I'm not mistaken, that guy said we can get some at that other guy's shop outside. So let's go do that. Because he's like, you're pretty sure the other guy stole your thing. And there's this trash can here, so let's zap that. Oh! Wait, okay, it's gone. Hmm, there doesn't seem to be anyone here. Intruder alert, hostile detective, preparing, robbing, what? Uh, probing, wait, what, apparatus? Wait, no, no, I gotta get out of here. Hold up, probing? Whoa, what? Wobing? Don't you think that's a bit, uh... Okay, so we need to get a box first. Because the, a guy said... I remember a guy saying that a box was the ultimate, like... Covers. And also, probing. Don't you think that's a little harsh for an intruder? Like, I mean, wow. Just like... Wow. Just no, it's not okay. Sorry, I gotta get past you here. I gotta get this cardboard. You got a cardboard bar. The latest and tactical espionage tech. Okay, well, now that we have a box. Oh, hey, we can put the box on. Okay. So now let's get these ice cream cones. No one can tell where I am because I'm so stealthy. No one's gonna expect the dragon in a box. Nobody. Not even. Not even. What's her name? Not even Trixie or the princess herself. Okay, well, first we gotta take the box off. Okay, now let's put the box on. And get us an ice cream cone. You got an ice cream cone. Why does an empty cone look so sad? Also, can I steal a hot dog from you? I can totally snatch that hot dog off the counter over there. Huh, there's a little sign down here that says closed, okay. Well, now that we have the cone, let's go talk to Fluttershy. Oh wait, but actually that suit of armor was also blocking the way, so let's destroy that and see what's in that building. 
Oh yeah, this is it. I'm sorry, can you do- Thank you. Oh hey, it's Trixie! It's not easy being the boss. What do you mean? Since when are you the boss? I thought Princess uh, Celestia was the boss. And also, like, I haven't been saying this, but like, Trixie, you appear everywhere. Oh wait, no wait. I'm pretty sure she's down here. Fluttershy is definitely down here. And also, why is she appearing everywhere? Like, that's dedication. Oh good, you're back. I got an ice cream comb here. Is this okay? That's enough. Just gotta sh uh, shape this here. While you're here, is Twilight with you? No. It's just me today. Forgive me for acting, but does she know you're here? Hmm. I mean, I don't know why that's any of your concern, but okay. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. No, it's fine. She doesn't know I'm here. We kinda had an argument. Oh my. I hope you patch things up with her. I plan to, but first I need to get her an apology gift. Well, I think it's great that you're helping ponies other than Twilight. You're making friends aside from her. Yeah, totally. Done. Okay, now I just need a pair of wings. Think you can handle that? Uh... Fake wings, of course. Like, Spike, why would we cut off Pegasus wings and take those? Like, that's messed. Right, right. Like, why would we do that? Like, that's messed up. Like, that's actually really messed up since you guys are, like, your friends with po Pegasuses. I wonder if the owner can give me these wings. Okay, well, uh, can I put the hat on? Nope. Once you get the box, I guess you lose the hat ability. Yep, you lose the hat ability. The hat won't help me now. So I'm pretty sure the guy did say something about needing more power in his booth. So let's go talk to someone who may be able to help. I'm assuming maybe Twixie, because honestly... Nope. Okay, well let's talk to uh, Celestia. Go forth and be your bad self, okay. Then... You know what? Maybe we have to talk to the other Twixie inside this building. Because she did say she's the boss. Hey again, Twixie. Do you know where the manager is? Ah, Dragon, you're looking at her. But you are just outside and inside. On second thought, you're also at the exhibit hall too. Well, Trixie has an ample experience in many fields of work. So you're just teleporting to all these places, what you're saying. Of which includes uh, stations, security, middle management. These jobs may or may not have been taken at the same time. Wait a minute. Did, uh, A.K. Yearling put you up to this? It's not nice to pry into a mayor's business. I, I just wanted to say, I think it's great what you're doing. Helping out other ponies on your own. It follows Trixie's whenever she goes. It follows Trixie wherever she goes. Anyway, did you need something? Oh right, there's a pony in the exhibit hall that needs some more power. He can barely keep his booth's light on. Trixie can't do anything about that. All power is wired to other places. Besides, electrical engineering isn't on Trixie's resume. Is there another way to get more power? Well, most power is distributed to the food trucks outside. If just one of them were to close up for the day... Okay, I'll go check on the food trucks. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna go to the food trucks, we're gonna come back, and then everything is gonna be A-OK. -okay. We're gonna get those, uh, what's it called, wings that uh, Fluttershy needs, okay. You get a free waffle cone, if I had any, here. Well, this guy is in a food truck, are you, gonna, are you willing to close? And they said that I couldn't barbecue corn. Okay, weird. What do you have to say? Name any exotic flavor. I got it here. Ah, okay, so we can activate this now. Smorgas- wait. Smorgastor. And meatballs. Both are atomic breeze cuisine. Breezy cuisine. Okay. It'd be a shame if this stopped working. So am I supposed to give it- is that telling me to use to stay on it? Well, honestly, that's just rude. 
Like, wow, I didn't even ask this person if we could turn off the thing. We just blew his thing up. Also, this is definitely, like, Sweetie Belle. This looks like Sweetie Belle. Is this Sweetie Belle? This kind of looks like Sweetie Belle. Why did everything turn off? Oh, no reason. But seriously, that's kind of a jerk move. Not gonna, not gonna lie. That was kind of rude. Like, we just came up to this person's thing and blew up the heating device. And also, Trixie, if you're the manager and everything, honestly, you should be getting paid overtime for this because you're doing a whole lot. Hey, Trixie, the bubble tea truck just closed for the day, aka Sabotage. Oh, did it? Well, by the power invested in me as the janitor, clerk, security guard, and manager, I'll give that pony the power. Awesome. Better tell him the good news. And Trixie? Yes? Believe in you. I'm sorry, what? Like, was that your motivational speak? Believe in you? That was it? Okay. Anyway, we're just gonna ignore Spike's believe in you comment, and we're gonna head in to the exhibit hall and get those wings for our unicorn costume. Or alicorn costume. That, uh, what's his name? What's her name? Fluttershy will be making us. So, hello, my pony friends. How you are doing? Oh, wait, this is the place. I was about to pass it. By the princesses, there's enough power for my train of the future. As a part of the staff, I reported your problem to the manager, and she was more than willing to help. Goodness, thank you. Please take this, my latest wing accessory. You got wings. Why do they feel so real? Thanks. It's the final piece for the alicorn costume. I'm sorry, you said why does it feel so real? Either that is really good detail, or this man is a Pegasus wing-stealing murderer. Okay, it just skipped text, but I got the wings here. Oh good, did you dispose of the remains properly? What? I'm, ex I'm sorry, ex Fluttershy would never say anything like that, oh my god. <laughs> what? I'm teasing, I'm teasing. No, you, that, mm, the way you said that with conviction, Fluttershy, I don't think normal j ponies joke like that. Normal ponies don't joke like that, especially not Fluttershy, so hearing that come from her, wow. I'm just practicing humor, small talk with my customers. I'll stitch the wings on now. And done. Spike, why don't you try it on? Fluttershy, I don't think this is a good place to... I insist. How will I know if my work was good or not? Really, Fluttershy, I'll just put it on later. Put it on now! Dang, that... Vasily, she lost her whole face. Okay, okay, okay. Congratulations. You are now an alicorn princess. Why doesn't it feel so... Cathodic? Cathodic? You look so precious. Well, now I can finally get into that tea party. Aww, why don't you show it off to everyone else? I'm sure they'll love it. The sooner I get to the tea, that tea party, sooner I can get back to Twilight. Spike, maybe Twilight doesn't need an apology gift. Maybe he just wants to talk things out with you. Sigh. I don't think so. Just, just let me do this for her. Of course I'm gonna wear this outfit. Honestly, why would I take it off? We're in a convention, come on now. Even though Spike is like hating it, I mean, come on. It's a convention. Wait, isn't the panel upstairs? It is upstairs, where am I going? Okay, we're gonna do this. Also, let's talk to her, she's all about it. Hey Spike, you ready for the Alicorn tea party? Wow, I'm wearing the costume and you don't change your dialogue? Okay. Let's do this. Ooh, nice costume. You're just in time for the tea party. I'll go in to announce your highness. Wait, I was just here for the ticket. Grumble. Just smile and wave, Spike. Smile and wave. Hey, that's a Penguins of Madagascar reference. Dragon, how goes the shift? Hey, Trixie, what's it like in there? Pink, frilly, and full of princesses. Each one more stuck up than the last. Next. Wait, the amulet just appeared. 
All of them looking like they worked so hard for this. Trixie. It's not like there's plenty of other ponies who actually work hard. And all they get at the end of the work day is a chance to see them. Trixie, stop ranting for a moment. You know, I think to th I like to think a male like me deserves more. Is that so much to ask? I mean, you kind of don't really do much, and you kind of start a lot of crap, and... But, you, you know what? Sure, Trixie, sure. Wh what? So, oh, so sorry to disturb you again. What did you say your domain of rule was? Trixie, wh where, uh... Did you need some help, princess? Inhale. You should go back inside. There's only one alicorn princess that can help me. To be continued. Immediately. Okay, I thought there was like... I thought they were ending and I'm like, Whoa, what did And then Trixie just sparked away. The Alicorn Amulet was probably drawn to her pent-up feelings. But I wouldn't worry too much about where she is. Why not? She clearly has a vendetta against the ponies here. Like I said before, we're inside a pocket dimension. Do you want to hear how I made it fit in this bo booth? Not really, I don't really care. Princess... I don't think now's the time for that. Think of it like a wibbly wobbly, lost and found. She'll show up here eventually. Trixie! That's the great and powerful Trixie to you. Trixie, listen to me. Take that thing off. And go back to being a plain old employee of a pony? Princess. Shh! This is good. Some good drama. Come on. Don't, don't, don't just sit there and let me do all the work. Come on. You don't know how insulting it is, seeing the ponies here throwing their bits around like it's nothing, saying things like, I might as well buy it because they could afford it. I'm pretty sure you're just jealous because you don't have a job and don't work a day in your life and you're homeless. <laughs> like, don't blame that on anyone else. Trixie, that thing around your neck is messing with your head. While ponies like me can't afford anything because we spend our time day in and day out Cleaning up after them? But what do you mean? Other ponies work for that money. They're not just getting money. Unless, you know, you're the spoiled witch ponies whose parents give you all their money. Then those ponies aren't working for that money. Their parents are. But other than that, come on. Rule 1. Respect for all ponies. Because everyone has a life outside the convention. Whether we like it or not. Rule 2. Have fun. Because it's nice to do something for yourself once in a while. But that's not how you make other ponies happy. What are you talking about, dragon? Also, you definitely changed exactly what the princess said. And made your own thing. And you may hate yourself for it. And that hate will follow you and take you to a bad place. But once you're there, you'll only want to go deeper. I, uh... I didn't know you felt that same way. And I didn't mean to come here today and help all those ponies. But I didn't expect to find a pony like you doing a job better than me. Oh, doing a better job than me. I don't know why. what I'm reading. And I think you're pretty great doing that despite how you feel. Also, why did the music stop? You gained a new friend. Misery loves company. Wow. Hey, the amulet is gone. Where'd it go? Did you take it off? Wait, the aunt... Delicorn Tea Party. Don't worry about that, kid. Pretty sure the employer understands the magical d mishap. Phew. On the other half, you two owe me some sweet. Sweat? Sweet. What? Looks like your weekend just cleared up for me. Trixie never had a weekend to begin with. Wow. But at least it's not just me who's losing time. Miss Yearling, the tea party is getting out of half. The guests are now declaring their own souvenir state. What? Wait, their own supreme, what? Wait. S severe states? Wait, what? I don't know. Yeah, this, this is going into the photo album. Thank you for playing. Oh, hey, it's that guy from the... What's it called? 
Oh, it's Sonic 11 12. Okay. No, it's 112. It's Sonic 112 is the game diviner. All characters fan. Oh. Oh, okay, and this is the music they used. It's already late. I... I should really head home. Spike! There you are, Spike. Twilight. I was looking for you all over. Please, don't just run off like that. I probably said some horrible things, and I'm sorry. Spike, you have to tell me what's wrong. Me too. I'm sorry for making you worry. I had a pretty crazy day. Can I tell you about it? Okay, well. Oh, okay, the game is over. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next video, we'll be doing the other. We'll definitely be doing... There's one more uh, Spike Day Off whatever game, and we're definitely going to play that next. So, guys, this is Blue Cup Productions signing off. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, and stay frosty, my friends.